everybody and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am filming, I don't know whether to be excited or nervous, like I am excited to see it again myself but I am horrendously nervous for you guys to see it. So I started my YouTube channel back probably in 2014 I think it was, but you guys I think are only actually able to see videos from about two or three years ago. So I hid those other videos because I think just as time went on and the more I filmed, uh, the more content I created, I just decided that some of the content on there I just didn't feel was kind of up to a good enough standard. I do still keep a lot of my old videos on my channel because I like to see the progression but some, you know when you just look back, it's like bad pictures of yourself, you look back and you just think I can't subject other people to that. That it is not improving anybody's life by seeing it and it is horrendous. <laughs> so that is the reason why a lot of the videos that I have filmed, I must have filmed over 150 videos at this point but I think you probably can only see probably not even a third of those. But today I thought I would do a reacting to my first ever makeup tutorial video. <laughs> I'm so scared. So I've got my headphones in so that I can watch the video without it disturbing the sound of this video and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hutch over that way and then I'm gonna probably put a little clip of the video somewhere at the bottom here, probably here, um, so that you guys can watch it at the same time as me. So my first ever makeup tutorial on my YouTube channel was called Glamorous Eye and Dark Red Vampy Lips. I uploaded something very similar to that in my last video, which is interesting that I kind of come full circle since then. Um, but I will say, just from looking at this very first, you know like when you first start a video, you can see the beginning of the video. <clears throat> there has been some improvements, thank goodness. So today I thought I would do a makeup look that was a little bit more glamorous How quiet am I? With a really dark vampy red lip which I absolutely love So if you'd like to know how to get I this still look, say that. keep watching Okay, so we're going to start first by getting our hair out the way Oh my goodness way. First of all, the angle! That is not a flattering angle Like, it's like this you just need to pop And like, you want to be filming like down, don't you? To make you look a bit slimmer Oh my gosh, my hands! I've got no nails. This is when I was still horrendously biting my nails. I am then gonna take my and they look uh, so chubby. By Mac and just pop that. I still love painterly paint pot now. Oh, it's not cute. Oh, the mouth, the mouth. No eyebrows. No fingernails, chubby hands. Oh my goodness. At this point, I was about 13 stone. And, then, and for reference, I'm 9 stone look, 3 now. I'm going to use my Urban Decay. Still one of my favourites. Corrupt from so uh, Naked 2 is like the best black ever. This mm, one. Gold. Perfect. And just pop that. And you can also hear the rain. Over the centre of my eye. You can hear so the rain. Slightly into. The biggest thing I'm noticing, change-wise, other than like the fact I look quite different, is I don't want to interact with the camera at all. Like I sound very quiet. I don't really want to interact with the camera or talk to the audience. Oh, I don't have that palette anymore. And I'm just gonna pop that. I'm using the same brush. I'm just gonna pop that on the inner corner. Just because it's a slightly yeah, it doesn't look like finer. it doesn't look like I'm enjoying myself filming this, which I think probably at this stage I wasn't because, as I said, this is one of my first videos, and I think from this video I learned a lot. Like when I watched it back, I learned an awful lot about how to talk in front of the camera. I think after I filmed this video, I remember practicing in the car, I would practice in my living room, like anywhere, I would just practice talking out loud because that was really one of the hardest things for me when I started my YouTube channel. I didn't realize, like I felt like I have the biggest personality and I, I do have a really big personality. I never stop talking, but I remember looking back at this first video and thinking, why can't I see it? And it really is a skill to be able to talk to the camera uh, and engage with your audience through, through the video. 
um, which at this stage obviously I haven't got yet. Just slightly damp. I'm which I still have a long way to go by the way, like I'm always learning. But it's particularly obvious looking at this to my videos now. But so far I'm using a very similar technique which I always use anyway, starting with the eyes and then doing everything else after. I'm just not smiling! I'm going to use Foxy. I'm not smiling whatsoever. And did I just burp? And I didn't edit it out. <laughs> Right I just right. can't with this double chin. Just it was not a cute angle. And also my hair colour at this at this time was completely natural. And now just gonna take a little bit of the there Did you see what I was liner. like their real push-up liner? <laughs> As if like I don't really want to be right. here. I'm not sort of lining the eye, I just want to push the product right into where my eyelashes are. Oh Alice, you're so funny. My hand! I can't with my hands. So once you've done that, before we add any mascara or lashes or anything, ambiance of the candle burning in the background. The waterline with a little bit of white. I used, on. you know what? White eyeliner in the waterline, I, that used to be like my signature thing. Like I would always have really white, white liner in my waterline. Like anybody that went to school with me or grew up with me, that was like something I always did because it, obviously it's supposed to like brighten your eyes, make them look bigger and I loved and it. I don't do it so much now because I think it's sometimes a little bit hot, like there's a time and a place but um, oh my god that facial expression! That is not normal. Oh my goodness. I try really hard to so cut out those ugly faces. I mean, sometimes they sneak into videos without me realising or being able to do much about it, but that is not cute. So I'm just going to pop the eyelashes. My nose as well. What the heck? Not that I've had anything done to my nose, but from the weight loss, because obviously I'm a lot lighter now, my nose looks so different. I'm just going to go ahead and pop the on. Okay, so once your lashes are on, we're just going to do the base. So I'm going to use Still one of my faves. I love L'Oreal True Match. Love it. And I'm just going to pop. And I'm still using my fingers. Even now I'm doing that. With my foundation, I do sort of rub it in a little bit before taking a brush to it, just so it's sort of... Yes, go. She knows what she's talking about. But there goes that mouth expression again. Jeez. Sure I have a feeling that that foundation might be a tad too dark for me as well, but hey ho. I'm interested to see how I do my brows because I know that my brow situation has changed quite a lot. I went through some horrendous brow stages, as does everybody. <laughs> it's unavoidable. What am I using? using the Anastasia Brow Wiz. Oh, okay. So we're going to find out about this now. We're finding out about the brows. I'm just going to use. I think these are going to look absolutely horrendous. And then I'm going to go and go. Fill them in. I find filling in brows so hard, even now. Like I find it really difficult to fill in like my own brows because they're so fair and I know I could go and get them tinted but I'm just too lazy and unorganised. Um, back then I remember I had no clue what I was doing. I mean they don't look too bad in the grand scheme of things but they don't look brilliant. It's funny that I've gone from like my foundation, I've not finished the rest of my base and then, and then I've done my brows. I wonder why I did it like that. And also this music! I, I must have gone through loads of different musics and thought, this is the one. This is the music that's going to do it for me. Oh my goodness. I'm not saying it's bad, but for a YouTube video, I don't know. And also, this is in my old house in Cheshire. So this is in Clutton. I loved that house, but it wasn't good for filming because you can see the lighting is like super orangey. Mm, I'm checking. Checking I got them right. And like, you'll see that like my eyebrows here are also a lot thicker than I do them now because I am still using the collection Last Imperfection. Mm -mm. Um, because I used to just, well I just used to let my brows grow out until they were like really bushy um, and then I just tidy them up. Now I much prefer like you can probably see like a more 
slightly thinner brow. I think it just suits my face shape. Oh, I'm using pressed powder to set it. See, the that's very similar still to what I do now. Except I probably use a lot more concealer now. I'm like, oh, get it on. And I do bake now most of the time, rather than just setting it. I can't wait to see me do my lips. And then I'm just going to take the same powder and just set yeah, it. Yes, set it, girl. The only that I'm just, I just don't look happy. Like, no wonder people didn't really watch this to begin it, like, to begin with. Now what I do want to do I'm like looking at myself like now, my face is twitching. Oh my god, I haven't. That's so old school. Isn't Mary Lee when I was so old school? I'm just gonna pop I haven't used that in ages. An ever so small amount just right underneath the brow bone. Oh look, highlighting my brow bone. I never do that now. And someone actually asked me about that the other day. So it and like it's something which I find... Um, no, I'm not I don't really do do a lot now. Um, maybe I should bring that back. Maybe in my next video I'll do that. Because it does look so pretty. And I never highlight my inner corner, very rarely, because I just don't think it suits me. Now, full blusher, I want to leave it quite... Neutral blusher on the face. Oh my god, that is not me now, is it? I'm like, oh, get it on. But Rocketeer is still on my face. And I'm just going to pop that across my cheek. Oh, my cheeks are so chubby. Oh, poor Alice. And then once that's done, I am just going to take a little bit of the Mary Luminizer again and pop that just on. See, now I would say that my bronzer and contouring is a lot more like that's a big part of my makeup. So I really make sure that I've got like this contour and that I do my forehead, which I obviously wasn't doing then. But I was highlighting my nose, which I don't do now. A little bit on my cupid's bow and a little bit. Oh, look at that cheeky little smile. I was like, mm, now yeah. Now for the lip, I'm going to do a so funny. dark red lip. And I'm going to use... Diva. Mm, I love that. Use that in a, a recent makeup look that you will have seen on my Instagram. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take take it straight from the bullet and put it straight on my lips to begin with. Ooh, controversial way of doing it. Now I would definitely go in with a lip liner and then go in with a lipstick over the top. This music is not doing it for me today. It's just the angle. The angle is so unflattering. Like everything about this is so unflattering. And you know what else I've noticed? I've not really done a great deal of eyeshadow underneath my eyes and that was something which I did I never really did until probably a couple of years ago. I never had mascara on my lower lashes. I never really put anything um, on my lower lash line. And now, like, I can't live without it because I think it makes that really smoky, sultry look. Even if it's just a natural daytime look, I still will put a little bit of bronzer because I just think it frames the face. It brings the whole look together. It looks nice. Now, just to make that look a little bit... I'm just so I'm timid and shy. Foundation. I'm interested to see how, how I wrap it up at the end. Neaten up the edges slightly. Yes. Neaten up the edges. Oh, Alice, you're so cute. Everybody has to start somewhere. I'm really proud of this because at the time, like, now I feel like I have friends that do YouTube or I have friends that do Instagram or anything like that. Um, so it's a little bit more accepted to do it now, but at the time when I first started making YouTube videos, this was not, like, I didn't know anybody else that was doing anything like this, so... I st I'm still really proud of this, because I must have been so brave. I don't know what you think. Um, yeah, I really like it. I really and really I've just taken my hair clips out, and I'm like, I'm done! Oh, a little smile. That is not a nice close-up. That is horrendous. No eyeshadow on the underneath. No mascara on the underneath. You can see every pore. It doesn't... Oh my goodness. And also, like, it's like... Oh! Sometimes I still do that. That last bit at the end is just... That last bit. When it like proper zoomed in like this close and you can see every pore and all the texture. Oh my goodness. 
Oh my goodness. I think I have come a long way from that first video, but that was like four or five years ago. And I've changed an awful lot since then. I've changed, I would say I've changed the most in the last 18 months. So watching a video back from four or five years ago, I honestly, I look at it and I don't even, like I know it was me, but I very much look at it like, oh, that's baby Alice. Like I can't, I can't really remember being like that, but I can, does that make sense? And when I'm watching me talk and I'm so timid and I'm sit, like talking very much like this and I'm like I'm gonna take my Urban Decay Naked 2 palette and I'm just gonna do this but I'm keeping a dead serious face because I haven't practiced talking to the camera much. When I first started my YouTube channel as I said all the way through that video I was so quiet didn't really I made a little bit of eye contact but I didn't really make much it's not that I didn't make an effort to engage, but I wasn't able to really talk to the camera. Um, so anybody who's wanting to start a YouTube channel, that's the biggest thing, is learning to actually talk to the camera. And it takes an awful lot of practice. And to begin, in, to begin with, like, you can watch, go back and watch my old videos and see what I mean. It's one of those things which you only get better at over time. And unfortunately, like, it's awkward because you're uploading the video and everyone's going to see it. But at the same time, there's, there's no other way of doing getting around it. So you've just got to practice and watch your old stuff back and, and really make sure that you are improving, which I have tried to do quite a lot over, over the last few years because I look back at videos like that and I think, oh my goodness, the angle is horrendous. I started with a camera which didn't have a flip screen so I couldn't see if I was in focus, um, which I think is probably why the angle was so horrendous because I couldn't really see what I was doing. I just propped a no normal camera up. The, it was so orangey indoor horrible lighting i know a lot more about lighting now and yeah just engaging i think my skill has got a lot better hopefully my makeup has improved a little bit along the way as well but that is so fun watching that back oh god i do make myself laugh so I hope you guys enjoyed that little flashback. As always, if there is anything at all you want to see on this channel, please just leave me a comment down below. And if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and subscribe. And I will look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye!